It was an own goal. Yeah, what? Yeah, it was an own goal. I would have, I would have given it to Cheats, but. <laughs> Mikel was lucky, exclusive. <laughs> and what was the pleasure of scoring your goal for us today? Well, you tell me. Uh... I thought it was good because you deserved it, but I don't know whether it was an own goal or not, but you got, you got credited it for it. Yeah, it was an own goal, just to clear it up. Goal for Carl Shelton, scored by number eight, and it's the goal. Goal for Carl Shelton, scored by their number eight, on a Sog Fanmo.
Substitution for Carl Shelton. Coming off, number two, Bobby Price. Coming on, number 16, Ryan Healy. Welcome to Robins Fans TV, I'm James Barrett Sterling. We're here at Oakwood, the home of VCD Athletic, where Carl Shorten have come today and ended up 4-1 winners. Um, I've been joined by Alan, what was your take on the game, Al? Um, yeah, very pleased with the performance, especially the first half. I thought the first half we came out and really, really, really tacked it from the off, which was uh, something we've not seen that much this season. It's usually been the second half we come out and do it, but from the start, we uh, Ola took his goals brilliantly and um, it was just a their goalkeeper to give him credit as well and in the first half pulled off a couple of good saves from Cheadle's free kicks and a couple of other saves so he kept the score down even though it was four at half time but yeah I was pleased especially the first half and the second half I think we set back a little bit and you know I think we could have maybe gone a bit more just to help with our goal difference but uh, no overall it's, it's a 4-1 win away from home and it's three points so it's yeah, I mean, as you say, 4-1 away from home, you can't really complain, but there was an opportunity there maybe to boost the goal difference. Uh, but in the second half, it was that kind of proverbial first half we won that and the second half they won it. Yes, yeah, I mean, uh, the second half they come out, they already looked tight in defence and um, we had sort of cl they closed it up and we c had trouble trying to get through trying to get through it. I mean, the big 14 that came on seemed to make a big difference when he came on defensively. He seemed to be clearing everything. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they could have quite easily just collapsed in the second half, but uh, they, they put in a good, you know, good performance in the second half. And like you say, to win 1-0, you know, in the second half, um, it's, it's good for them. It gives them a bit of a boost, but I, I, I thought if we could have just carried on, we could have helped our goal difference about two or three more goals. Yeah. It was nice to see uh, three different forward players get the goals today, though. Nice to see them shared around. Did you have a particular favourite goal today? Um... I think uh, Ola's first goal was that when Cheadle sort of volleyed it in, and then he volleyed it in in the back of the net. That was my first, that was my favourite goal. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. that was a terrific finish. I mean, whether Cheadle meant that one, that little pass, I don't know. But you know, it, it fell to him, and and then Ola took it nicely. And uh, yeah, that was my favourite goal. Love that one. Sounds to me like uh, Jordan Cheadle's been unlucky today because it had two two strikes on goal. Um, I think for the first and the second one, and they both come off different players. And on another day, he could have had both of them. Yeah, he could have done. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't to be his day today I mean he had, he had a couple of free kicks well saved by the keeper as well so but uh, he was still in the box you know, creating the chances and you know that's all you can ask for him really. Great to see two goals for Ola today though wasn't it? Oh fantastic really really pleased for the guy uh, he's been great for us over this season he's been a stalwart when he's not been injured when he's been playing he's been great and uh, I really wanted him to get his hat trick today he would have fully deserved that but it wasn't to be but now two goals for Moller this afternoon is fantastic I'm absolutely delighted for the guy he was he was literally that close to getting his hat trick in the second half when Tommy Bradford had that shot just across the goal yeah. and he was about that far away yeah yeah he just yeah he just missed it by that much you know and, yeah, Ricky was running in on the far post but uh, yeah it was a close one it would have been lovely for him that one's going but no oh, it was good it was a great performance for Moller you yeah. know he played really well Excellent, good stuff. Thanks for joining us today, yeah? All right, then. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry about that, but uh, the obviously a proper cameraman who interviews the players is not here. He's had to bugger off and go and get a train, so he's had someone to get home. But uh, what do you think of today's game? Uh, yeah, 
thought it was a professional job. Uh, I thought we got the job done in the first half. Um, and yeah. Yeah, I thought first half we played extremely well. Second half we seemed to uh, fall asleep. We seemed to send four 0 up. Oh, we, we won the game. Uh, goal difference would have been rather good. But what do you think of the second half performance? Um, yeah, I think we took our foot off the gas a little bit. Um, I think they came out um, and had a bit of a rocket up the backside um, and played a bit better. Um, but yeah, I think. Ultimately, we we had it wrapped up in the first half. So, yeah, I quite agree with that. First half was extremely good. Second half, we sat back, but a win from home. Um, other results still didn't go our way, but um, never mind. But we're still in there, and we're we're coping well. Where do you think we'll finish? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's a good question. Um, hopefully, in the top two, obviously. Um, look, everyone's. They're going to win the majority of games. We've just got to focus on ourselves. So um, all we can do is go out there and, and try and win every week. So that's what we'll do. Bridge, that's really good. Do you play as well? Well, my dad's the manager, but um, I play. Your dad's a man. Your dad's a manager of VCD. Yeah. Okay, that's good, isn't it? You proud of him? Um, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm yeah, pretty proud. Yeah. Good. That's smashing. What's your favourite position to play? Left wing. Okay, that's very good. We need all the left wingers we can get. That's spectacular. Hello, mate. Yeah. Hello. What's your... Oh, no, I can't ask you that. I've got, uh, um, do you play for VCD? I, I'm playing tomorrow. Uh, you're playing tomorrow? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Oh, are you looking forward to it? That's smashing. That's really good. Um, boys, would you like to tell us something about the game today? If you had to sum up the game uh, in very few words, but just say what you thought about the game today. I think VCD played well. They lost 4-1, but just can't really help that's it. Really good, good. That, that, that's, uh, yeah, that, don't it. worry about it because, uh, you know, there's always another game coming. Well, we didn't really deserve to lose. We deserve to come back, but... We didn't, it was, we just wasn't switched on today. Yeah, I agree with you. I think you played very well in the second half. I think we deserve to come back on the second half because it was getting up, the passing the ball possessively and talking. Well done. That's, yeah, I think you showed a lot of fight in the second half. Well done. I reckon they could have gone like pretty well. They could have passed in the first half a little bit better. They could have like kept the, like they could have like, like crossed it in a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, and then like, uh, our best player was off, was off. Um, but yeah. All right, so good for VCD. Have you listened to the tactics from the young ones for you there? A little bit of advice? Uh, to be honest, I think we could have really improved and just come back and really won. I, I, I tell you what, you showed such amazing fight in the second half, boys, and you know you are all a credit to your club. Um, and I, we come every week. Yeah, that's that's what that's what is important to, to get the young people coming interested in football. And I'm sure you'll go on to to have a long association with the game. So really well done, boys. Thank you all very much. Would you all like to say goodbye to all the fans at Car Shorten? So have, just say, just say cheerio, Robbins. Cheerio, Robbins. Very good. Thanks, VCD. Well done, boys. It's a pleasure. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I've just finished an exciting game with VCD Athletic, um, and I'm delighted to say that uh, another occasion for Robin's uh, Fans TV, we have uh, the second woman to speak on uh, camera, and it is, I'm proud to say that it's Emily, uh, who is the physio, uh, physiotherapist for, for VCD. Um, Emily, hello. Um, I've, I wonder if uh, you'd like to tell us something of your role as a physio for VCD. Um, I've been a personal trainer for 10 years and um, I was at a Sunday league game with a friend of mine and I happened to just stretch out a couple of players and a manager from a higher league saw me uh, stretching them out and asked me if I'd help them on a Saturday and then I just decided to go down the sports therapy route. Um, I did sports massage at the London School of Sports Massage and I did sports therapy at the University of Limerick in Ireland. Because oh, I'm sure you do fantastic work Emily, that's, that's really, really interesting for me to know and I'm sure the fans uh, are also interested um, because I know it's very important work and I know that the players will rely a lot on your 
uh, knowledge and capability. Emily, would you like to comment on the way that the game went today for you? Would you like to sit to? Uh, did you have any uh, ideas about how the game was played? Um, it didn't go to plan, um, unfortunately. I think you guys just wanted a little bit more, and um, we were punished for our mistakes. But look, that like you said earlier, that's football, and we came back in the second half. We gave it everything. Um, we can hold our heads high for the second half. Unfortunately, the first half just wasn't our game. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more there, Emily. I thought it was a fantastic comeback by VCD, and it, it, it was a puzzle that that you know we we well we. I don't say it's a puzzle, but you know we're expected at our level in the league to do so well, and uh, and we always have much respect for the sides that we play, and this was an example of it today. But uh, your free kicks, we'd love to see. Um, you, I think you deserved one or two today. Yeah, had a couple of saves from the keeper. Um, yeah, another day one of them might have gone in, but yeah. I think one day you're going to get the rub of the green with with the free kicks. But then we've got uh, Craig Wanderers and Lewis away. So that's another two, uh, two uh, high, high games. Uh, Craig away and Lewis away. Do you think we play better uh, against teams uh, higher in the league and where we play like VCD and East Grinstead, where we should automatically get the three points, but we seem to fall asleep against those teams. We've lost a lot of points uh, against lower league grant teams this season. Yeah, we've got a good record against the top teams. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're always looking forward to them games. We, uh, typically, we've always done well in them. Um, as you say, it's against the sort of lower mid-table to, to the bottom of the table that we tend to slip up in. So, um, yeah, no, we always look forward to the big games. Yeah, I, th I think we seem to raise our games against the, big, the bigger teams. And we've lost some silly games uh, against low-ranked teams. But... If we'd, ran, if we'd got those points, we would have been higher out in the league. But I think we would have been uh, sitting behind Lewis. But uh, we got Craig away, which we haven't got a good record at Bromley's football ground because they ground share out there. But we're playing on a different pitch this year. It's a 3G pitch, which we play on. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, I think it will suit us. Um, and as I said, yeah, we always look forward to the big game. So, yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, hopefully we'll carry on as, um, as we go. And... Uh, I'm sorry, but James has got, gone somewhere. He's had to run off and get a train. It's about a 20-minute walk from, from the ground from here. Hopefully he found his way home safely. And good luck to the boys next week.